Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to be bringing you my updated skincare routine. So many of you have remarked over the last couple of months that you've seen changes in my skin and you wanna know what I've been doing differently. So believe it or not, it's just a couple of different products that I've changed out in my routine. So I'm gonna share those with you today. I'll also walk you through my morning and evening routine. Now, as we jump into it, this video is not being sponsored by anybody, but all of the products that I use in today's video or show you in today's video, I will link in the description box below. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now let's get going. Now, as many of you know, I recently moved. And while I was preparing for the move, I started going through my medicine cabinet, cleaning out things. And I happened upon a few products that I thought, you know what, I should just start using these things to get rid of them. And so I can clear them out and I don't have to pack and move them. Well, one of those products was the Hyaluronic Acid by Now Serum. I've used this for years. I love it. But it had kind of gotten shoved aside when I started using the Too Faced Plump and Prime Serum. So I thought, you know what? I'll help save myself some money. I'll still use the Plump and Prime at night, but I'll start using this. And I should really test out this 10% niacinamide booster from Paula's Choice because I also had this in my cabinet, but hadn't really used it on a regular basis, hadn't really gotten in a groove with it. So I started combining these two because booster means you add this to a moisturizer or serum or whatever. So started using this in the morning and I thought, hmm, I think I'm seeing some good things. Then I started reading about the benefits of niacinamide and I thought, oh my goodness, this is the new golden child of skincare ingredients. I need more of this in my life. So if you're not familiar with niacinamide and all of its benefits, I will leave a very helpful article linked in the description box below. It's on the Paula's Choice website. And basically, niacinamide helps with wrinkles, it helps with pore reduction, it helps tighten the skin, um, it helps with all kinds of great things, and it's non-sensitizing. So that was one thing that really got me excited to try this because I have super sensitive skin and I'm always kind of hesitant to combine different products with acids and retinols and all that because I don't know how my skin is gonna react. Niacinamide is one of those ingredients that basically they say you can use with anything. So that was the first change that I made in the morning. Now, the second thing that I've been incorporating in the morning is I have been adding a little moisturizer before I go in with my sunscreen. And I've been trying out a new one. This is, by the way, a huge bottle, it's 200 mils, and it's from Amazon. And it's the Physiogel Hypoallergenic Daily Moisture Therapy Facial Lotion for dry and sensitive skin. It says it really relieves dry, tight skin, makes skin less sensitive, and strengthens the skin's moisture barrier. Now you might, some of you know, I have combination oily skin. So I'm not a dry skin person. Why am I using this? Well, I saw Allura Beauty do a video about moisturizers that give the skin a glow without making the, it look oily. And I am a combination oily skin girl. So I typically veer away from anything that is going to give my skin any extra glow because usually that means oily and extra shiny. But as you'll see in a moment, when I put this moisturizer on, it does make the skin look glowy, but it does not make it oily and it doesn't break down my foundation through the day. But it really, I feel like it has also helped strengthen that skin's moisture barrier. So my skin feels like it's a little more balanced these days. So I'm not getting nearly as oily as I was before. So I have started incorporating this in the morning before I go in with my sunscreen. Primarily my sunscreen of choice over the last couple months has just been the Elta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44. Now as the summer comes in, I'll probably still incorporate the Polish Choice sunscreen in because that one has a little more of a matte finish. But this one, it's moisturizing, it has hyaluronic acid, it has zinc oxide, 10% zinc oxide and 5.5% 
percent titanium dioxide so I think that extra hyaluronic acid that I've been putting on my skin almost daily has also made an improvement for evening what I have changed up is first of all I started using another product that I found in my medicine cabinet that I had not used hardly at all came in a boxy term and it's the clean skin club vitamin C brightening booster now when I show my demo of my routine, I do not show applying this because I honestly don't know that this has made that big of a difference. It felt nice on the skin, but as I started reading more about vitamin C recently, I realized I don't think the formulation of this vitamin C is actually getting into my skin because this one comes in a water-based formulation. There isn't L-asorbic acid listed in the ingredients. And so therefore, I actually don't know if there's really any vitamin C getting into my skin. So I know vitamin C is a really good ingredient to use in your skincare. And I thought, oh, hey, maybe this is what's going on. But I honestly, after reading all about vitamin C, I don't know that this has made a big difference. Now I have enjoyed using it. It's all basically almost all gone. There's a couple drops left in here, but I don't know that this is going to be a repurchase for me because like I said, I'm not sure that that is what has made any difference in my skin. However, this next product I do feel like is making a difference and it is new by Paula's Choice. It's the 25% AHA plus 2% BHA exfoliant peel. It is a rinse off treatment. You use it one time a week. I use it in the evening after I've cleansed my skin. I use this. If you're somebody like me who didn't know what AHA and BHA and what the difference was, <laughs> let me just quickly explain. So BHA, I was using this 2% BHA gel exfoliant for probably several weeks before I realized that this exfoliant was not exfoliating the outer surface of the skin. A BHA exfoliant means it's cleaning out the pores. It's keeping your pores clearer. AHA is the exfoliant that exfoliates the outer part of the skin, those dead skin cells. So this combines both of those. And so it's a 25% AHA, which is pretty high. So I was a little concerned with my, my super sensitive skin, how it would work, but it has worked great. I have not had any issues when you use this. However, you do not want to go in with any retinols or any other BHAs or any other acids that night. So what I will do when I use this, and I used it the night before I did this whole skincare routine, is I will just either use my Acure Seriously Soothing Cloud Cream as my moisturizer that night, or this Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask another boxy charm product. So I will use one of those as my only serum moisturizer that night. But once a week, I've used it for about five weeks, I think. And I do feel like this is improving the texture of my skin. So I'm excited over time, even more time to see what more improvements happen to my skin. But so far, I've been very pleased it's a kind of almost purpley iridescent color gel and you just smooth a layer on your skin wait 10 minutes and then rinse it off and put on your really good moisturizer and that's it so i do feel like this has been making a difference so far now let's go ahead and jump into the morning and evening routine so you can see how i have incorporated those products in with the rest of my skincare products. And then I'll finish out this video with my final thoughts. So after cleansing my face in the shower, I go in with the Alafia Everyday Coconut Face Toner and I just spritz this all over my face several times, in fact, before going in with the Now Solutions Hyaluronic Acid Firming Serum paired with the Paula's Choice 10% Niacinamide Booster. Now Niacinamide is vitamin B3 and you'll see in a moment the consistency of it is basically like water. So this hyaluronic serum has a real thin gel-like consistency, and then I add about three drops of the niacinamide booster, 
and just try and mix all that together before it runs down my hand and then smooth it into the face. And as I'm going along, I'm trying to smooth that serum in an upward motion. Everything that from moisturizer to serum, everything you can do to keep the skin going up is always helpful. But I just work that in until it's almost set. And then I go in with this Physiogel Hypoallergenic Lotion. And I'm just using about a large pea size. And you can see it's a milky, thin texture. And again, kind of same thing, just gonna work that into the skin, going in upward motions. And I work it in until it's almost fully absorbed. You can obviously take this all the way down your neck. I just use other products on my neck, but this just, once it's kind of set on the skin, you can see that glowiness that it has added to the skin, but it's not oily at all. So lots of glow, but no oil. The skin feels hydrated and it feels a little bit more firm. And so I just wait about a minute or so. And while I'm waiting, I go in with my eye cream. Right now I'm just using up what I've got in my drawer. So this is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. It's fine. It does provide a nice little bit of brightness in the under eye area, um, kind of an immediate brightness and moisturizing, but um, not necessarily my favorite, but just what I'm using now. And then I go in with sunscreen. Sometimes I combine the Polish Choice and Elta MD, but like I said earlier, I've been primarily just using Elta MD and I am almost out. In fact, you're gonna see me struggle to get out a full serving of this SPF. So I usually do about two and a half to three pumps of it. It has a good bit of tint and on my yellow undertone skin, this one blends really well. The Paula's Choice has more of a pink undertone. So um, those of you who are super fair might be better with that one. But I just work this in again, kind of going in upward motions. I don't put this under my eye because I end up cleaning up under the eye while I'm doing makeup, but there you go. Skin is hydrated, glowy, and ready for makeup. Now here we are at the end of the day and we need to take all of this makeup off. So I start off with the Bare Minerals Hydrating Cleansing Oil. This is their updated version of the original. And then I go in with the Cebu Cleansing Bar, wash all that off. Then I use coconut oil to remove the rest of my eye makeup, cleanse one more time, and then here we are with our clean skin. Now I spritz my face once again with the Alafia Everyday Coconut Face Toner. I love this. Again, it just really kind of helps tone the skin, add a little bit of moisture. And then I go in with the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Gel Exfoliant. This comes in a couple of different forms. I personally like the gel. This bottle lasted me for almost a whole year. I use one pump in the evenings only. And I again work this into the skin, going in upward motions, and I work it in until it's almost fully absorbed. And then it's time for my favorite Too Faced Plump and Prime Face Plumping Primer and Serum. I have a brand new bottle, got at the Sephora sale, and that BHA gel is kind of tacky, so that's when I know it has partially absorbed into the skin and I'm ready for this serum. I put two pumps and on the Too Faced website, it tells you how to apply it. You definitely, again, wanna go upwards and outwards with your motions, with your fingers. And then you want to leave this on the skin for two minutes before applying anything else on top of it. So while I'm waiting, I apply the 100% super fruit oil nourishing eye cream. I put it under the eye and onto the eyelid. This does actually work really well. I like it at nighttime though, is my favorite time to use it. And then the Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. This is what I mentioned earlier I was using. I would actually apply this before the Too Faced Plump and Prime Serum. And you can see I've used almost the entire bottle, but again, I'm not sure that it really did anything. So um, now I'm going in with my Eyebrow Rapid Brow Serum. This is when I apply it while I'm again waiting for those two minutes to go by for my primer to soak in. And then last up is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. 
and I go back and forth between this one and one by Paula's Choice, but neither one of them have been sensitizing. This one has a really nice airless pump that pumps out precisely one use each time, and I love that it's airless because it keeps the product inside fresh, and that is something that's really important with skin care is you wanna make sure that it is packaged properly so those ingredients don't go bad. So I just work that in all over the skin, again in upward motions until it's completely absorbed. And then the final step for me is to add the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is the green apple one, and we'll see in a moment, I am down to the very, very end of this jar, but I have a backup of the berry flavor waiting for me so this is an essential for my lips to make sure they're moisturized and there you go my skin is hydrated and ready for sleep all right so as you saw me moving through my morning and evening routine probably many of you are thinking how long does that take i'm actually able to move through those routines very quickly in the morning and in the evening they really don't take that long and i know there's probably more products than many of you are used to using in your routine but i feel like for me personally each product i use has a specific job and it's doing that job well i'm not one who wants to use five products that all basically do the same. I'm just gonna pick one. So I feel like my routine is down to kind of the bare minimum, so to speak, and I feel like it has been working well for me. Now, if you're somebody who is just getting started, maybe you have not been doing much to your skin and you're going, oh no, where do I start? Definitely make sure you are moisturizing and using SPF, but I would say one main ingredient I would recommend starting with is niacinamide. I really feel like this is a very user-friendly ingredient that is doing wonders in the anti-aging realm. So you could either incorporate this booster in with a moisturizer you're already using, or as you saw in my Sephora unboxing, I've recently picked up the 20% treatment niacinamide treatment by Paula's Choice. So I'll be sure to keep you informed as I start using this if I see any other dramatic improvements. But I would say niacinamide is a great place to start um, taking extra care for your skin because it is non-sensitizing. I feel like it will work on most anybody's skin. Then I would say adding in a retinol cream. Now for me, Murad and Paula's Choice are the two that I've used and I've not had any issues with sensitivity, but retinol is one of those ingredients that is also supposed to be kind of like a magic, a magic ingredient for anti-aging. Vitamin C is one of those ingredients that I am learning is very touchy and tricky and many products that advertise to being vitamin C actually aren't getting that vitamin C into your skin because it has to be properly formulated, properly bottled, all of that stuff. And so I feel like vitamin C is a trickier formulation to find a good product in, but niacinamide, top one to start with, and then add in a retinol if you can find one that works with your skin. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. I know many of you have said, oh, I've never taken care of my skin, it's too late. Hey, it's never too late to start taking care of your skin. My skin is nowhere near perfect, but I do feel like it looks better than it did five years ago. And that is just because I've been careful about incorporating kind of the right kinds of products. And I do feel like they have made a difference in my skin. So start now and your skin will thank you for it later. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.